Hello everybody, welcome to the Bales Hay Farm and Ranch Show. I'm Trevor Bales. And today we have another busy day. So first off, I'm a little bummed out. I bought uh, three new axles for a trailer. I had a trailer with some square axles that had been cracked, or I had a set of doubles rather, with uh, three axles that were square axles that had been cracked several times. And I decided I would rather buy three new axles so I do not have to have this truck break down in the middle of nowhere like it has before. I had a cracked axle, luckily my buddy Wyatt and uh, uh, and uh, Logan Hatch have a squeeze up in the White Mountains where they were. They went and they were able to save the day. So we put uh, about three new axles, they're putting them on there. The guy called me, he says, guess what? Uh, getting the axles put on, but these are piloted wheels and your old tires are bud, uh, or your old wheels are bud wheels. So. Now I gotta go buy 12 new wheels. But first, he cannot get the trailer out of his shop where he's putting it all together because he can't put wheels on it. So I'm gonna go grab a trailer, go down to my buddy's shop, Donnie King, grab six wheels out of his shop, run over there, give them to those guys, and then, cause they don't need to put all 12 tires on, all 12 wheels, they just need six wheels just so they could pull them out. And then they can, he can get to the next trailer. So I gotta take him wheels, buy new wheels, and we gotta haul some hay today. So it's a busy day. All right, let's get going. We're making hay. So I got the tires loaded up. We're gonna use a fork that to pull it off. But this GoPro doesn't have a magnet on it anymore, so. I don't know. This is gonna work, you guys. That's the way to move tires. Man, I want a forklift like that. Right, we're at another farm. The farmer called me up a couple days ago and said, I've got some hay for sale. Would you like to look at it? I was out of town. My dad came and looked at it, made a deal with him. We are now loading it up. There's approximately 10 truckloads here. I'm gonna haul, we're hauling four back right now and the rest of the guys are gonna come back without me. But this is just the process of tarped hay where we pull the tarp off and being loaded on the trucks. It's beautiful green hay on the inside. It's just a touch stemmy. I'll show it to you. You can see the colors green. This is from back in November. One thing I notice on it that I don't like too much is that those brown marks, that's a sign of bug damage. That's where bugs, they had a lot of bugs out here and they didn't spray for them or whatever. And they, they secrete this, uh, I don't know what it is technically, but uh, it's just this brown stuff. Anytime you see a lot of that brown, that means they had a lot of bugs aphid or not aphid or uh well, it could have been aphid but aphids usually eat the leaves too so who knows but i think mostly aphid you can see the color difference yellow to green so it is green inside but here's the stem size I, i'm not wild about the stem size um it'll make a good it'll make a good number two horse hay like i said it's green inside customers will like it for the color unfortunately they're not going to like it for the stem size but we're, we're still in the winter. It's still only February, uh, halfway through February. So we're not gonna be making real nice new hay. Here's where the water came down the tarp and actually discolors the hay. Yeah, these stems are big, but Beggars can't be choosers.
like I said, it has great color. Um, it's just the stem size I'm not wild about, but oh well. We need a good number two for our customers. So my job now is to take what we bought this for, add on the freight because it is, it took us a little over an hour to get out here and a long, a five mile long rough dirt road. That's wear and tear on the truck. So I'm gonna say this, hauling this hay costs us $25 a mile. That's when you pay, pay for your drivers, your fuel, and then you add a little extra on for tires, wear and tear on the vehicle. So I'm gonna call this a 25 mile haul. I need to look at the actual mile, that's per ton, $25 per ton. I'm gonna look at the actual miles and I need, I try to base things off of $6 a mile. So I'll, I'll go through and I'll work that backwards and see what it really comes out to. Um, and then we'll figure out what this hay's worth. But I think this stuff will sell for about $16.50 to $17 a bale. We'll see. Just looking at it and crunching some numbers, I think that's what we're gonna do. nothing metal in this cap. Can't mount this camera to anything. All right, but now we're home. Unload these trucks. We made it back. It's super windy. I unloaded, forgot to video us unloading. But tomorrow morning, I have to have a load of big bales into Wickenburg, which you guys have seen a video that at the uh, Rancherio, the roping place. So might as well video strapping down the big bales. squeeze driver didn't do me any favors. See how much is leaning that way? Yeah, not great for mirrors driving down the road. Uh, I guess I'll go get the squeeze now. I'm gonna jump the squeeze, straighten that stack out, but I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. I'll take you along with me to deliver this. There's another squeeze driving meeting me up there, so I don't have to take our squeeze. Justin has to, I have to take his squeeze. Should be pretty quick, up and back. Ooh. The lady that makes all my shirts is up in Wickenburg, actually. I gotta put a box in there. She forgot to um, print on the back side of a bunch of shirts. So, yeah, if you like, everything I wear is generally a product that we have online on our website. If you're into that sort of stuff, if you're not, I really don't care. So I really don't advertise that we sell stuff. But um, it's there if you want it. It's there if, you, it's, if not, not a big deal. All right, I'm up in Wickenburg at Rancho Rio. Oh, thank goodness it's not in the 20s. There's some cloud cover, so it's 
a bit warmer today just a flannel and a light sweater it's kind of nice we didn't have to bring our squeeze up here we got the local guy unloading i've been on my phone so i haven't wasn't able to get the get the camera out anyways almost unloaded meet bobby the lady that does my t-shirts uh i'll be here in a little while we're gonna swap some stuff out back to the farm He's got to spend some time straightening stacks out because, or building stacks, is because he's stacking it in his barn. I'm empty. Straps are rolled up. It's time to go. Well, wait for Bobby, then go. Kind of a good thing I don't have a passenger seat, right? And we have power. Back to the yard. Got the squeeze, check the oil, uh, water, it's good to go. Um, now I'm headed to my in-laws dairy. We're gonna load some Tricaly on the hatch guy. Big bales. It's getting warm now. I had to wear sunscreen today and pack a water. When it's cool out, I don't drink enough water. Made it to the dairy. Here's uh, Wyatt Hatch with Hatch Family Farms. Going too fast and went right by the barn. Keep on, he's got to back up a little bit. Perfect. So if we can't stick this uh, camera on a pole and video this whole thing. You wanna say hi, Wyatt? What's up, Trevor? Hey, everybody, this, you dropped two gloves. How's it going guys? Wyatt Hatch, Hatch Family Farm, Taylor, Arizona. Tell me a little bit about yourself, what you guys do. Um, fifth generation farmer in Taylor, Arizona. So we grow uh, alfalfa, silage corn, grain corn, um, vegetables. Uh, we run a little feedlot, feedlot operation and we sell hay and grain Monday through Saturday from eight to five. He buys triticale from my father-in-law. <laughs> All right, we're gonna, I'm gonna throw this up on a, on a pole you guys can watch this process.
a little longer than normal, I turn these bottom bales on edge so we get an extra. We get an extra three bales on the trailer, which that pays off for them in freight. So there's 24, no 25 and 24. Back in the squeeze, after I loaded him, I went and grabbed some Subway. Then I do some paperwork in the office, which is boring. But uh, every Thursday, which is tomorrow, we go to the feed store, which you guys have seen. But um, we're gonna try to get that done today. So that frees up our tomorrow to do some other things. So I'm doing the feed store. That's another day in the books. We are done. It's 5.15, I'm gonna go home. Been a lot of running around today. Sorry, not a lot of action for you guys, but we got a lot done. No, I'm not grayer. I just putting, started putting on sunscreen because I've just been red. Look at that, look at that line, oh. So anyways, thanks for watching the show. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Every, every view, every subscription counts. Until next time.